Hi there, it's Laryl, and today I'm going to spend American Thanksgiving giving thanks for Paladin buffs. So it's a holiday week and I'm pretty confident that Blizzard employees are not going to hit us with any more changes during the middle of a holiday, uh, hopefully for at least a couple of days. So here's a recap of the tank changes over the last 24 hours. First off, Blizzard made some changes to tank tier set bonuses. The first tier set bonus change was to the Bear Druid 4 piece healing proc. Now, as you can see, it says 2 set bonus healing amount decreased by 64%. The 2 piece doesn't deal any healing, so, I mean, if this was, <laughs> if this was intended and correct, this would literally be nothing. But it's not. The 2 piece, you know, the 2 piece gives you uh, mangles that benefit from gore. That's the mangle reset talent. It makes them deal AoE damage and give you a 5% damage and damage reduction buff. That's unchanged. It's still great. The four piece increases your gore proc chance by 5%. The base chance is 15%, so it goes up to 20. That's also great. Really good for your damage output, rage generation, and it buffs that two piece bonus. It also gives you a heal over time when you consume a gore proc with mangle. It ticks three times over six seconds baseline, so every two seconds, and that does scale with your haste. So if you're running a normal build with a lot of haste, you'll probably get that down to more like five seconds. Prior to this change, that heal was worth uh, about 10% of your health pool over the full effect. So considering you could maintain a really high uptime on the heal over time effect, you basically were healing for 2% of your health every second on top of all of the other tons of value that that bonus provides. That's quite a lot. I had previously said that I thought this was the ta best tank tier set by a mile, and I still feel that way, to be honest. Even with cutting the healing down, this still provides AoE damage, single target damage, rage generation, a defensive buff, a smaller trickle of self-healing, and it improves your rotation. It's still a fantastic set of bonuses, it's just not quite super duper overpowered like it was before, now it's just regular overpowered. Monk was the next class to get a tier set bonus buff, and theirs is very simple. The two-piece bonus grants you a stacking buff each time you hit an enemy with Tiger Palm or Spinning Crane Kick. It stacks up to four times and grants you 1% damage and damage reduction per stack. Now, despite how it's written, which is how I just read it, it doesn't actually grant you a buff each time you hit an enemy with Spinning Crane Kick. It grants you one stack of the buff each time you use a Spinning Crane Kick that hits an enemy. Pretty big difference. If it worked the way that they wrote it, you could just cast Spinning Crane Kick one time and be at four stacks. Easy clap. Instead, you have to use Spinning Crane Kick four times to stack it up. And just spamming Spinning Crane Kick at the start of a fight is uh, stupid. So you want to, or have to, stack it up over the span of like 15 seconds or so, and then make sure that you don't let it fall off. The duration before the buff was 10 seconds, so it's pretty easy to maintain during a pull, but actually a little tough in between pulls in some dungeons. The buff has now been increased to 15 seconds, which helps a little. I still don't love this bonus, to be honest. It should just work how it says it does, or just be a one stack thing. But the duration increase is helpful. It's good in a lot of situations. There are spots in dungeons where you're forced to run a long distance between packs or like take a teleporter. And in those cases, it's probably still going to break. You know, you're going to lose the buff because you're spending 20 seconds teleporting here to there. But for a lot of pulls where you'll end, you'll have, you know, maybe before you would have like seven seconds left on the buff and the pulls 50 yards away. Maybe you can get there in time. Maybe not. Now you'll have like 12 seconds left. Should be good to go. I'll take it. Thanks for the buff. Eh. All right, Paladin is up next. And they received a couple of buffs here. The first part of it, the two piece bonus, now grants 6% versatility when you use Avenger Shield, up from 5%. This also grants that buff to your closest ally, the closest one to you. You can't maintain it on more than one target, I have checked. The duration of the buff was reduced from 10 seconds down to 8, which sounds like a nerf. It doesn't actually wind up being one. 
But even so, that's still like a 90% uptime buff just with the two piece after the change. So this is, I think, generally worth it. The ability to control who you put the buff onto just by standing close to the person you want it to go onto is pretty good. And this can make this bonus into a constant stat boost for basically your group's best damage dealer, which has the potential to add more overall damage than any other tank tier set bonus. It's a little annoying to use. It's a little annoying to me that you're getting power by buffing somebody else, but if you use it well, it's very good. You could also give it to the other tank in raids. I'm sure they won't mind a little bit of extra damage and damage reduction. The four piece bonus makes casting Blessed Hammer add an extra second of uptime onto the two piece buff. And that is why they reduce the two piece buffs duration so that the four piece buffs extra duration increase would do anything because before it was 100% uptime and then now you're adding even more. You can't be 100% more, you know, that, yeah. It also grants you 5% parry chance for 10 seconds. This was buffed uh, up from four. Pretty minor change, but the reduction in the two pieces duration makes makes the four piece a little bit more important, less of a thing that you go, eh, I don't need it. You actually will need that four piece bonus some of the time to keep 100% uptime up on the two piece. So they work together a little better without causing you to just lose uptime. This is all good. The duration extension thing also works for your partner's uptime on the two piece too. So this all works pretty well together. My only real complaint now is that I think 5% parry is kind of boring for a four piece bonus. It's actually pretty good as an overall damage reduction buff. I just, I wish it was something a little more exciting. That's it for tier set bonuses. And I'm a little surprised that Warrior didn't get any sort of acknowledgement with their two piece tier set bonus not working with execute and kind of screwing with the execute phase of the, the class, but maybe that'll happen later. I can hope about 12 hours or maybe a little more after this set of bonuses uh, was or the set of nerfs and buffs. Another set of tank changes came in and they have pretty big ramifications for Mythic Plus because they are prop pally buffs. Blessing of Dusk and Dawn has been buffed. It now has a duration of 20 seconds, which means that maintaining both the Dusk buff and the Dawn buff is very easy. It really wasn't like that difficult before, but it was a little annoying when they only had a duration of 15 seconds. Triggering Dawn and Dusk are pretty easy to do. You just hit five holy power or zero holy power, respectively, and you can have both of the buffs up at the same time. Being in both Dusk and Dawn at the same time doesn't really make sense to me thematically. Maybe this is like some uh, talent that was designed in the Arctic Circle, but uh, whatever. This is basically just a passive damage and damage reduction buff that you can really easily maintain at 100% uptime now. I have found it pretty annoying before when it was a 15 second buff. It was a lot more rotation altering, but the extra five seconds of breathing room really makes this a lot less irritating to use, and I think it is a must have talent now. You can get you can't get this much value from your talent tree at where it's located, uh, you know, for the price that you pay to pick this up. Blessing of Dawn was reduced from a five or a six percent damage buff down to a 5% damage buff, but Blessing of Dusk is still a 4% damage reduction buff, and I'm willing to make that trade. I think that the significant increase to ease of use is worth sacrificing 1% damage. I, I would have also happily accepted no reduction in the damage buff at all, but whatever. This is what they're offering, and I am willing to take it now when I wasn't before. Seal of Order did uh, have its uh, damage and healing increase to your holy power spending abilities, which was 10% knocked down to 8% uh, during Blessing of Dawn. Again, this is like a small decrease to your overall healing and damage. It really, it has a tiny bit more impact on your healing, but not much. Very minor overall impact on your damage output. And I would say generally, this is a pretty difficult talent to justify taking. I'll show a talent tree here. It's this talent down here, Seal of Order. It's a good talent, but you have to give up either like 
this talent which massively increases your wings uptime or this other talent that massively increases your wings uptime. And I'm not willing to do that in either case just to get this sort of steady, passive, minor damage and healing and defensive increase. On top of this, Word of Glory healing was increased by 40% for Prop Pallies. Prop Pallies prayers have been answered. Word of Glory deals up to 250% more healing based on how much health you're missing. What this means is in basically in terms of your ability to self heal, that previously when you were low health, a normal Word of Glory would hit you for a little over 25% of your health. That can vary quite a bit based on your gear, but you know, generally around 25% of your health was a pretty normal low health Word of Glory emergency zone. Considering the cost of Word of Glory being three holy power and how often you get free Word of Glory cast, which is not that super often, you know, every 12 seconds or so, considering the fact that it's on the global cooldown, all of that, it just wasn't really enough. Word of Glory doesn't have to be Death Strike, but it does need to be more than a Health Stone. Now a Word of Glory in the same situation would hit you for about 37% of your health, so considerably more healing. This is great news, it seriously fixes the big issue that has been plaguing Pallies for a while now. Blizzard is also buffing Light of the Titans by 40%. This is the talent that grants you a heal over time effect when you cast Word of Glory, and I'll just show it in the talent tree here. It's over on the right side, kind of down and to the right from Ardent Defender. I'll even, uh, I'll even throw a couple of points into it. There we go. It costs two points, lasts for 15 seconds, and heals you for half of the base Word of Glory effect, so no benefit from your health being low, which is a pretty huge downside. It heals you for 50% more if you have a damage over time effect on you, but I still think that this is a pretty underwhelming talent by comparison with the rest of your options available. If the heal over time effect was shorter, like three to five seconds, but it still did the same amount of healing, I think I would be a little bit more on board, but as a really long drawn out minor heal over time, I don't love it. For people who played Prop Pally during Shadowlands, or any spec of Pally, you'll probably remember the Conduit Shielding Words, I believe that was the name of it. It shielded you for a percentage of all the healing you did with Word of Glory. And that's a similar design to this. I think that would have been a much more interesting concept here than Light of the Titans. Even if Light of the Titans would just scale up with your missing health like base prop pally Word of Glory does, that would work. But it doesn't. It needs a little bit more juice to justify being a two point talent. Alternatively, it could just be knocked down to a one pointer. That would be great too. Well, anyways, Prop Pally's got a huge buff. I feel like I had predicted this yesterday in the Mythic Plus tank tier list I put out. I absolutely think that this pushes Pally up to a, at least a notch one above where I had put it before. Thanks everyone, we did it. We buffed Pally, we willed this into happening. This is actually very exciting to me. I really love playing Pally in Mythic Plus, and now it's just so much better than it already was. It really fixes the one problem the class had going uh, going against it, which was a lack of sustained self-healing. Alright, that's it. Pally Buff Season Rules. Thanks for watching. Bye.